Subtopic 2.4, Definite Integrals. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to use the properties of definite integral. Previously, we have learned about indefinite integral. Then, we're going to evaluate definite integrals. Next, we're going to find the area of a region bounded by three possible cases. The first one is area of a region bounded by a curve and the x or y axis. The second one, area of a region bounded by two curves. And the last one, area of a region bounded by a line and a curve. And in the next video, we're going to determine the volume of a solid of revolution bounded by three possible cases, same as above. Okay, now we look at the properties of definite integral. For A, so we have lower limit A and the upper limit B. So C is a constant, so we just do a B minus A. For part B, we have two functions. We have two functions here, which is fx and gx. So we do the algebraic operations, okay, either addition or subtraction operation. So we just separate them up into fx plus minus gx. For C, okay, the same thing. We are taking out the constant C and then we just leave the function here to be integrated. For part D, okay, we have the same limit for upper and lower. So we know that A minus A is a 0. So the integration would be equals to 0. E, okay. So if we look at, at these two limits, okay, here we have A to B, okay, from limit A to B, but on the right side here we have b to a so the property is saying that okay we just put negative over here okay then they are equals to each other for the next is a f so now we look at a lower limit to the upper limit c so now we have okay we could s split them up into two functions okay so which is from a to B and then from B to C. Okay, the most important thing here, okay, you must see the lower limit, okay, the beginning limit must be A and until up to limit C. Okay, and then the limit here so must be the same limit. So please remember if you want to split your limit, the limit here must be the same. Okay, the blue one. And then you must see also the beginning and the ending point of the limit also must be equals to the original limit. Okay, and then the last one, okay, we have G. If the function is greater than or equals to 0, whereas, okay, uh, B is uh, greater than A and then C is greater than B. So, mid of uh, from A to B of that function also must be equals to zero must be greater than equals to zero okay so now example 12 given integration 2 to 5 of the function is a 5 and then 5 to 8 of the function is a 10 and then uh, limits 2 to 5 of the function g is equals to 6 so evaluate each of the following so now a so we are doing a so limit 2 to 5 3 fx dx so equals to so in integration okay we must always we should always take out the constants okay for easier operation so now i am taking out the three so the limit left is a two five of the function dx so as given in the question so two five function dx is a 5 so the answer is 15 next b okay from lower limit 5 to 2 okay so this is quite confused okay we know that the lower limit must be smaller than the upper limit so now this question asking from 5 to 2 so now we are using the properties that we just learned from 5 to 2 of the gx dx so we could change the properties 5 to 
integration of gx dx also equals to so we are beginning okay we begin from 2 to 5 of the gx dx but we must put the negative so now negative and then the integration 2 5 of gx dx given in the question is a 6 so this is the answer so now we look at part c okay we have limit from 2 to 5 of the 2 fx plus 3 gx dx so now we just break them up into 2 5 2 fx dx plus so another integration 2 to 5 3 gx dx so as usual okay take out the constant 2 2 to 5 plus 3 2 to 5 gx dx so we take from the question given so 2 of integration of 2 5 of the function dx is a 5 plus 3 so from the question given the integration 2 to 5 of the gx dx is a 6 so 10 plus 18 is a 28 and then for part d okay we have lower limit 2 to the upper limit so clearly from the question okay we could see there is there is none about uh, from lower limit 2 to 8 so what we must do is uh, we are using the properties okay the beginning point is from 2 the lower limit and the upper limit is 8 we could extend the function into from 2 of the function dx plus okay the upper limit given in the question is 8 of the same function okay so now we look at here so the lower limit 2 and the upper limit 8 okay the same as the question so we look at the question we are only have here we have 2 to 5 2 to 5 and then 5 to 8 okay so now we choose the same limit here 5 and 5 because this is the only limit okay, given in the question. So 2 to 5 fx dx is a 5 plus 5 to 8 fx is a 10. The answer is 15. Okay, now example 13. Evaluate each of the following. So part A. So we're going to integrate the exponential function. So we have definite integral from the lower limit 0 to 2 okay to integrate exponent to the power of 4x minus 2 respect to x equals okay integrate exponent is uh, we copy first so exponent to the power of 4x minus 2 over okay divided by the derivative of the 4x minus 2 is a 4 so previously okay so we usually put plus c over here but since this is a different integral so we put square bracket okay from low limit 0 to the upper limit 2 okay so now we are going to substitute the upper limit 2 and also 0 into the soft integrate here so exponent 4 2 minus 2 over 4 so subtract with exponent 4 0 minus 2 over 4 so it's going to be exponent 8 minus 2 is a 6 over 4 minus exponent 0 minus 2 is a negative 2 over 4 so I could just simplify the solution the answer into exponent power of 6 over 4 minus 1 over 4 exponent squared okay for next question okay for b so now we have 2x power of 3 divided by the square root of 1 plus x power 4 okay so i believe that all of you have uh, learned about the method of integration so this function okay could not be integrated straightforward so we must choose the correct method which is 
substitution okay because uh, clearly from here okay i could see 1 plus x power 4 when i differentiate it becomes 4x to the power of 3 okay so let's get started so here is a 0 2 1 2 x power of 3 over square root 1 plus 4 dx okay so now i use the method of substitution so i'll choose u so u equals to 1 plus power 4 so when i differentiate okay it becomes 4 x power of 3 dx okay so look at to the original question okay we have here okay we have here 2x 3 dx okay here i have 4x power of 3 dx so how to make it into 2x 3 dx okay so 2x 3 dx equals to du over okay so now we are going to substitute all of this thing into the question so you would have equals to 0 to 1 okay 2x3 dx is a du over 2 is a du over 2 so here is a 1 over so square root 1 plus x power 4 is a u okay to make it easier to solve okay so i put constant to the front so it becomes 1 over 2, 0 to 1. Okay, so now to make it easier, okay, so we put the constant 1 over 2 to the front, so it becomes 1 over 2, so integration 0 to 1, uh, 1 over set u, so I just put here u, okay, to the power of negative 1 over 2, okay, for me to easy to integrate later, so u, okay, so now we just we will integrate. 1 over 2 so integration of u negative half is a u to the power of half okay so u negative half plus 1 is a half over half 1 over 2 okay so plus c so plus c we are going to use the upper and lower limit so first i put here c first so because I want to integrate this, so cancel out these two. So now the answer is uh, u to the power of half. Okay, so now we change back u. U is uh, original in the function x is a uh, 1 plus x to the power of 4. Okay, to the power of 1 over 2. All of this. So which means uh, the square root of 1 plus x to the power of 4. So limit from 0 to 1 okay, square bracket. So now, okay, so we do a subtraction. So 1 plus 1 to the power of 4 square root, so minus 1 plus 0, okay, to the power of 4, which is 0. So please remember, okay, students, this method is a very important method, okay, which is a substitution method. Important eh? steps. Sorry, I mean this method, okay. In the examination, okay, you must do this method. Okay, it's a must. So the last answer, the final answer is a set to minus 1. All right. Application of integration. Okay, so what they can do? So in integration, okay, we can use to find the area and the volume of any function. So first here, okay, we look at the, to find the area between the curve and the x-axis. Okay, the most basic one. Okay, this is the curve and this is function. Uh, sorry, this is the axis. Okay, x-axis or y-axis. Okay. So first of all, we'll be looking at the curve, okay, between the curve of the function and the x-axis, okay, so the horizontal one. 
So if f is continuous through out, okay, from a to b, from a to b, then the area of the region between the curve fx and the x-axis from a to b is given by a, okay, from the a to b, y dx. Okay, y here is actually your function fx. Okay, so simply I could change the formula here. A to b fx dx. So the function of x, okay, we are integrate to the with respect to x. Okay, if you look at the sketching over here on the left side, Okay, we see the curve here is above the x-axis, okay. So, this curve, okay, which is the function, okay. So, the area under this function, the area under this curve, okay, which is from A to B, okay. So, we're going to use this formula, okay. So, on the right side, okay, the sketching of the curve is below the x-axis so the area would be negative but we must put uh, the modulus sign here okay which is we you know the the area is must be always positive area between the curve and the y-axis so if s continues throughout okay from c to d then the area of the region between the curve okay, of the function y and the y-axis from c to d is given by Okay, A equals to integration from C to D, X dy. So the same X here is actually the function of Y. So I put G here. So you could just simply, okay, you could change the formula from C to D, G Y, dy. To integrate function Y with respect to Y. Okay, these two sketchings below here. Okay, so we could see on the left side here. Okay, the curve is on the right of the y-axis so the area under this curve so <coughs> we refer to the y-axis all right so the area under this curve so which is a from c to d so we're going to use this formula okay so the same goes okay when we look at at the sketching on the right side so it is actually on the left side of the y-axis so y-axis has the reference line here so the area under this function okay so you will get negative then we put modulus here because the area is always positive. Example 14. Sketch the graph of y equals to x multiplied by x minus 2 from the domain negative 2 to 4. So this graph, okay, we could see the function is a uh, quadratic function because when I expand, okay, become uh, x squared minus 2x. So positive quadratic. Okay, and then the root here, so I know the x intercept okay is so going to be 0 and 2 okay so I just simply sketch from negative 2 to 4 so negative 1 negative 2 1 2 3 4 negative 2 is 0 2 4 this is y axis and the x axis okay so we know that this graph would be looks like smile and then the roots is at uh, x equals to 0 and x equals to 2 which is the x interception 0 and 2 okay what else okay so you could plot okay if you are not sure about uh what will be the graph looks like so from negative 2 when x equals to negative 2 so negative 2 negative 2 minus 2 negative 2 is 8 okay so negative 2 and x equals to negative 2 so about there and then uh, when x equals to 4, 4, 4 minus 2, 4, 2, so 8, okay, so somewhere here, okay, so the minimum point, so I could just simply draw, sketch the graph, so this will be your graph, okay, will be looks like, it's smiling, okay, positive quadratic, okay, sketch the graph, so I have sketch, then it's done, so next question, what is the area B, eh? Here we look at B. What is the area between the curve, between between this curve and the x-axis, bounded by x equals to negative two and x equals to two? Okay, we must first put the limit line first. Okay, which uh, change back to the blue one. Okay, here is two. So from negative two to two. So from here to here. Okay. So the question asking. 
to find the area between the curve and the x-axis so the curve and the x-axis so we look from the negative 2 to 0 so the curve here okay the green one here the x-axis so this is the area under the curve okay and then from 0 to 2 okay so between curve and line so between curve and line so the red one eh? so the low rate is there so we could see clearly okay this is uh, the question asking about to find the area between curve and axis x axis okay okay so the area is a okay so since uh we look at the region bounded here okay first part from negative 2 to 0 is a positive area because it is above the x-axis okay while from 0 to 2 okay it is below the x-axis so the area will be negative so we just put modulus later so slowly we begin from negative 2 to 0 of the function dx this is the formula and then we plus okay we add up with the next domain 0 to 2 okay of the same function because here only one function involved so now we put the function negative 2 to 0 so the function is uh, x x minus 2 dx plus so we put modulus here okay as I said Okay, it will be negative so because it is below the x-axis so the function is uh, x x minus 2 dx okay equals to okay i haven't yet integrate them because uh, it is easier if i expand this first x squared minus 2x of uh, respect to the x plus from 0 to 2 x squared minus 2x Oops. dx ok so now we integrate them so x to the power of 3 over 3 minus 2x squared over 2 so from negative 2 to 0 square bracket plus so the same here x power of 3 over 3 minus 2x squared divided by 2 from 0 to 2 ok equals to so I will be straight away ok to the soft one which is 20 over 3 ok for the left part here plus ok so the, the modulus one ok so you'll be getting here negative 4 over 3 so you try out guys so make sure you try out them so the answer the final answer will be 8 since uh, this is area, so 8 unit squared. Now we look at the example 15. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals to x cubed. Okay, x to the power of 3 plus 3. The y axis, the lines, y equals to 2 and y equals to 4. So now we have cubic function. So do you still remember how we, the graph will be looks like? Okay, for the cubic function so to find the area of this region okay you must first try to sketch the graph okay if you don't then you couldn't see okay where will be your begin limit and the ending limit okay to find your area now you try to sketch the graph okay even though they don't ask to sketch the graph so the cubic function so plus 3 so the y interception here is a 3 when x equals to 0 y equals to 3 so here is a y axis so i scale here is a 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay the lines y equals to 2 and y equals to 4 so i use the different color so here is a y equals to 2 and then for y equals to 4 so i choose orange it is y equals to 4 all right 
so the graph x squared plus 3 so the graph this is the red color so the positive cubic function and eh, the positive okay so it will start it from here okay so the interception here and here so we could just substitute into the function okay so to know the interception here between line and curve okay we just substitute uh, y equals to 2 here so y equals to 2 2 equals to x cubed plus 3 x cubed x power of 3 equals to negative 1 so x equals to negative 1 here is a negative 1 so while at the point here so interception when y equals to 4 so 4 equals to x cubed plus 3 4 minus 3 is 1 so x equals to 1 so we have done Okay, sketch our graph y equals to x cubed plus 3 so what will be the region okay look back to the question find the area of the region find the area of the region bounded by the curve the y-axis lines y equals to 2 and y equals to 4 so there are four bounded line here okay we have curve we have y axis and two lines which are y equals to 2 and y equals to 4 okay so i want to change the original color of uh, which will represent of uh, every line here so y equals to 4 is a uh, orange color so y equals to 4 oh, is an orange y equals to 4 is an orange and then the red one is a curve so curve is the red one y axis is the blue one y axis okay blue color okay and then the other one the y equals to 2 is uh purple okay so we have purple blue red and orange okay so we gotta find out okay where would be the region located so okay so from so as the we look at the y axis as a reference so this would be the region under the curve so why okay we see here okay there is a red color orange color and blue color so this is the curve the red one orange y equals to four line and then the blue one is the axis the y axis and then the shaded here also okay we see the bounded region uh, sorry the region is bounded by y equals to two line the axis the blue color and the red one is the curve so these two are the regions bounded by the curve and the y axis okay if you want to get clear of this okay to have a clearer info so you see your tutorial lecturer okay and discuss with them okay so now straight away okay we want to find out the area so the area a equals to so the limit is from 2 to 4 but there are two regions here so we choose the lower limit the lowest is from 2 up to 3 okay of the function so function oh all right so we haven't yet changed the function the function here is y equals to x power of 3 plus 3 so why must we change the function because here I want to find the area okay and then I want to integrate with respect to the y which is on the y axis so I must change the function x into the function y so x power of 3 equals to y minus 3 so x equals to y minus 3 the cubic root so I change to index form Okay, easier to integrate so 1 over 3 so this is now okay I've changed the function into the y as into the function of y so here is a uh, y minus 3 with respect to y okay that is why we have to change the function into the y function okay, we have another region from 3 to 4 okay also the same function which is y function now function y so y minus 3 
to the power of 1 over 3 d y okay straight away okay we're gonna use uh we're gonna integrate this function so y minus 3 1 over 3 so it becomes y minus 3 so 1 over 3 plus 1 is a 4 over 3 4 over 3 divide by 4 over 3 and then uh, this is a linear ax plus b so derivative not derivative eh? we take the a is 1 and then the limit from 2 to 3 plus okay so here also okay we'll be getting the same integration 3 y over minus 3 here is a 4 from 3 to 4 so equals to 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4 okay the final answer is okay will be 3 over 2 unit squared on this side okay if you try yourself okay you'll be getting this uh, in negative okay you must put modulus because uh, since the region is on the left side of uh, the y-axis okay so i put modulus here so the actual answer here is a negative 3 over 4 so when i put modulus it becomes positive so 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 which results to 3 over 2 units squared can i ask you can i uh, can i find the area with respect to the x-axis from negative 1 to 1 from negative 1 to 1 can i can i find the area from negative 1 to 1 with respect to x which means i will stay using the function x can you okay so you may ask this question to your tutorial lecturer okay now we move to the when the area bounded by the two curves or a line and a curve so now we look at these two sketching all right so these two sketching got two functions which is y equals to fx and y equals to gx so for this case how are we going to find the area we are we subtracting the upper function which is fx minus the lower function which is gx so this would be the formula when we have two curves or two functions we have limit from a to b so we have limit from a to b and the upper functions is fx or we could have another color in order to identify which function is larger than the other function so when i draw a line here okay so we could see this function and this function the fx is above the gx so now fx is the upper function gx is the lower function so the upper function will subtract the lower function fx minus gx so for the right side sketching okay we do have also two curves okay this is first function and second function so for this case we gotta look the function at the most right and then which function that will be to the left side so when i do a line of horizontal here so fy is at the most right and gy at, at the most left so in this case fy is the right function and while gy is the left function so the same thing limit we are taking from c to d okay the integration of c to d then fy minus gy the most right function subtract the left one okay because we are referring to the y axis so i think all of you have the idea on how to solve the area within the two curves okay so again on the left side here so we are taking the most upper minus the lower function because we are referring to the x-axis while on this side okay we are referring to the y-axis then we are taking the most right 
subtract to the left function okay so these two these are the two formulas that we are going to use after this when we have two functions or two curves okay guys this is the paragraph okay which I explain the similar things that I just explained to you upper function minus lower function for x axis okay we could see from ds here and this one is the formula for two curves or two function which is right minus the left function for when we are referring to the y axis example 16 calculate the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals to x squared plus 3 quadratic the linear function 3y equals to negative 2x plus 14 and y equals to 3 so first I think uh, let's we represent this function as uh, y1 this one is uh, y2 okay the last is uh, y3 so to find the area of the region bounded okay so by these three functions okay we have quadratic and two linears so first of all as usual it is better for us to have the sketching first because from there we will see and identify which the regions to be bounded it's okay, just a very simple sketching here so we have y x squared plus 3 so this is a smiling graph which will cross the 3 here okay y intercept y2 is a negative okay it's a negative gradient okay so let's sketch so we know the first quadratic will intersect at 3 so just a simple sketching here so the most basic one oops okay we're gonna use uh, the different color so first okay, we take the blue one okay something like that okay next okay this graph is uh, will have a negative gradient and then the y intercept use the purple color so y equals to negative 2 over 3x plus 14 over 3 so we know the intercept will be at 14 over 3 that is about 4.7 something let's say it's 5 okay just a simple sketching okay the last one is a y equals to 3 so y equals to 3 okay take orange y equals to 3 so this is y equals to 3 this one is a 3y equals to negative 2x plus 14 while this one is a quadratic y equals to x squared plus 3 so now where would be the area of the region located okay so try to guess is it here mm -hmm. ha ah, i think here because it looks nice to be there mm -hmm. is it right oh is it here okay so if you see here guys i have drawn okay, sorry i have sketched this uh, sketching by using three colors so that you can you could see the difference between the curves between the line okay and then the question tells us this region must be bounded by the three curves the three function so it must be bounded by the by the blue color okay which present this function and then this region also must be bounded by purple color and also this region also must be bounded by the orange color by these three colors so if you look at the first here if you think the region is here you see on the left side they are open open to the left side so this one is not be bounded by any curves because it is open to the left how about here so now bounded by the purple color purple line bounded by the blue color but it is not bounded by the orange color okay and then what you do if you look at the last region here okay this region it has been bounded by the blue color the purple color and the orange color okay class this is the region that we are going to find the area because the three colors which represents every function here y1 y2 and y3 here is a y1 here is y2 and here is y3 so now firstly we have to find the limits in order to find the area because when we have limit then we have can find okay referring to the x axis so we could see the limits here 
so here here and of course here so we have to find the intersections points at this point at this point and at this point okay first intersection points between this y1 and y2 so how to find intersection points so what we do is okay we equate two of them y1 equals to y2 it's just like what you learned in your school to find the intersection points okay we are going to equate the two these two functions y1 equals 1 2 so y1 is uh, x squared plus 3 while y2 is uh, negative 2 over 3 x plus 14 over 3 so now we are going to solve them 3 x squared plus 9 equals to negative 2 x plus 14 that will result to the quadratic equation which is 3 x squared plus 2 x minus 5 equals to 0 and then this, this quadratic could be factorized yes it can be factorized into 3 x plus 5 x minus 1 equals to 0 so from here we know that the x equals to negative 5 over 3 and also x equals to 1 okay so the intersection points here is 1 so negative 5 over 3 is actually somewhere here negative 5 over 3 but we won't use uh, this point as the region is not here okay so okay, we have to find another one point which is here here is a 0 we know that there is a 0 there so here is 1 and then this part okay for this part so uh, use the orange color to find this intersection point okay we're gonna equate the y equals to 3 with the purple and the orange the purple so y2 equals to y3 okay so y2 equals to y3 so y2 is a uh, negative 2x over 3 plus 14 over 3 y3 is a 3 so negative 2x plus 14 equals to 3 3 is 9 so x equals to 5 over 2 2.5 so here is a 5 over 2 so now let's begin to find the area okay let's restart so this is uh, the sketching that we have is now so we're going to find the area okay when we look at this region okay, i have to split them up into two parts okay which is here is a part a and here is a part b so why why should i split this up into two parts because every single parts here there are limited functions involved for example here okay if you look closely to the part a only two curves involved here which is the blue one and the orange one on the next side okay when we look at the part b also the curve involved here is only the orange one and the purple one so the area so i'm taking from beginning point from zero to one so for part a so which one is the upper function and the lower function so of course the blue one is the upper function so y1 y1 is uh, x squared plus 3 okay we be subtract the lower function which is the orange one which is y3 3 okay so with respect to x plus okay you want to add up with uh, the second part of b which begin from point 1 to 5 over 2 so for part b okay look closely okay there are only uh, two curves involved here the purple and the orange so the purple is the upper function okay while the orange is the lower one so the purple minus the orange purple is a y2 negative 2 over 3 x plus 14 over 3 okay we subtract 3 so let's rewrite back here is a purple which is y1 minus y3 upper minus lower function okay on this side the part b this one is a y2 minus y3 okay this step is the most essential part to find the area if you got them wrong then everything after after this will be wrong so make sure they are correct okay 
upper minus lower upper minus lower okay if we are referring to the x-axis next so i'm going to simplify the function first before i integrate so 0 to 1 so x squared plus 2 minus 3 0 so dx plus from 1 to 5 over 2 negative 2 over 3 14 over 3 minus 3 is a 5 over 3 dx so now the function has been simplified then we integrate so x to the power of 3 divided by 3 square bracket lower from 0 to 1 plus square bracket or oh, you got negative 2 over 3x then when we integrate we're getting x squared divided by 3 plus 5 over 3 starting from 1 to 5 over 2 equals 1 over 3 plus 3 over 4 and your final answer is 13 over 12 unit squared alright guys next page example 17 find the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals to x squared minus 5x and y equals to 25 minus x squared ok there are two functions here there are two curves one is a positive quadratic while the other one is a negative quadratic 25 minus x squared ok as usual ok we are going to sketch them first in order to get in order to describe how the region will be looks like ok to sketch so this is a positive quadratic function x squared minus 5x so x x minus 5 so the roots is a x equals to 0 x equals to 5 while on the other side here is a negative quadratic that will intersect at 25 so it's very simple this one the root at 0 and 5 so let's start to sketch so just a simple sketch so 0 and 5 so let's say it's uh, around here 0 to 5 0 to 5 so how about this root here and here so the root is uh, negative 25 minus x uh, 5 plus x so 5 minus x so x equals to plus minus 5 okay so i'm going to sketch the y2 first 25 and the y1 which is the positive quadratic okay it's a x squared minus 5x so we are taking the yellow one so the graph is smiling which will hit 0 and 5 okay something like this lah, okay so now the region so the region bounded by these two curves must be bounded by these two colors which is red and yellow so we could see obviously the region is here bounded by the two colors yellow and red before we could find the area we must first find the intersection point okay here is uh, 5 okay all right here is 0 okay but how about this okay at that point the intersection points is between y1 and y2 so as usual you we, we would equate these two equation so y1 equals to y2 so x squared minus 5x equals to 25 minus x squared so result to a quadratic equation to x squared minus 5x minus 25 equals to 0 so it can be factorized into 2x plus 5 and x minus so now our x is a negative 5 over 2 and also x equals to 5 so x equals to 5 is already here so this point is point here is a negative 5 over so now i am referring to the x-axis to find the area so when we look at the x-axis so which function is the upper function and which function is the lower so if you can't see let's uh, draw the vertical line okay i just draw the vertical line here so we could see the red one is the upper function while the yellow one is the lower function so now let's get started to find the area so area equals to okay the integration from where to where from negative 5 over 2 to 5 okay so which one is the upper function the red one 
red one is uh, x squared sorry 25 minus x squared so 25 minus x squared minus x squared minus 5x with respect to okay there is no need to split okay to split this uh, region into two parts or three parts because if we see closely okay look closely to the function to the region here from negative 5 over 2 to 5 if you look from negative 5 over 2 to 5 obviously obviously only two curves involved there is no other curve so straight away we could just substitute into the formula of area between two curves which is y2 minus y1 okay we simplify with the function first before we integrate okay we have here 25 minus, minus is a minus 2x squared plus 5x all of this with respect to x okay so now we integrate so we're getting 25x minus 2x cubed 3 plus okay so the lower will be begin from negative 5 over 2 up to 5 so we're going to substitute the upper limit first 5 2 over 2 okay this step must be done eh? okay then just simply use your calculator you need to find the final answer this step must be done okay must be written clearly 25 negative 5 over 2 plus so minus 2 negative 5 over 2 3 over 3 plus 5 negative 5 over 2 3 over 3 okay k1 for this step and then the final answer is 140 5 over 8 units squared